My Lord God, I have no idea where I'm going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I'm following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope that I have that desire in all that I do. I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, although I may know nothing about it. Therefore, I will trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. There's a great little story about a pig and a chicken walking down the road, and they see an advertisement for a ham and egg breakfast. Well, the pig is absolutely outraged. Can't believe in this day and time people are that barbaric, and they would do that sort of thing. Chicken says, I don't know what you're getting so upset about. The pig says, listen, when you bring the eggs, you keep walking. When I bring the bacon, my behind is here to stay. It's the difference between commitment and convenience. When Thomas Merton, in his prayer, talks about the abandonment of will, that we really don't know what's next. But we know that if we desire to do what it is God is asking us to do, that the desire itself will find favor with God. The desire itself will lead us, even though we don't know where we're going, where God wants us to be. And if we end up being where God wants us to be, then there's joy. There'll always be joy. The reality is, is it's either the convenience or the conviction. You can't just lay an egg every now and then. You got to bring the bacon. You got to go whole hog. You got to leave yourself in the middle of it. And to give ourselves to God doesn't mean I give myself to God only when it's convenient. I want God to lead me only when I'm lost. I want God to do the things that I don't want to do. I want God to clean up the mess that I can't clean up. Either you're in it and you're really seeking to do God's will and find God's will for your life, or you're on your own. And when you're on your own, you're out there. So in everything we do, in our work, in our marriage, in our fun, in our recreation, God's got to be part of it. We can't be a Sunday morning Catholic or Christian it doesn't do us any good to go act all holy and high and mighty in church and get out in the business world on Monday morning and sell your mother for the right price. We can't do that. And when Thomas Burton talks about giving our will to God, then our prayer leads everything that we do. Our prayer about our life, about our decisions, about our morality, about our commitments, about our family, about our loved ones, we let God in part of that, in all of that. And when we do, we find God at the end of the road. When we don't, we find a dead end. Thanks for being with us. God bless you.